Hello again and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War 2 Weapon Tips. This is Asian with Jeep with the Blunderbuss, a brand new shotgun. Available through the attack of the Undead event, the Blunderbuss was last seen in Advanced Warfare with extremely high damage. In World War 2, the Blunderbuss can kill an opponent within one shot, just like other shotguns. Though you only need fewer pellets to connect compared to other shotguns thanks to its high damage per pellet. Its one shot kill range is good, longer than a combat shotgun, with the M30 beats out by a few extra meters. Recoil is high but simply not a factor given the nature of the pellet spread which neglects a fine aim and its magazine size. Speaking of it, you get only one shot to fire before you need to reload and this procedure takes up about 3.5 seconds, greatly limiting your overall output. The hipfire spread is quite large, particularly when moving. Aiming will tighten up the spread, but the steady aim attachment will achieve a similar benefit. The Blunderbuss is a one-shot kill wonder machine, assuming you are close enough within its lethal range. A trick here is to make those shots count, and still be able to stay alive for another victim to be blasted. The class recommendation will focus on a hit and run tactic, along with an interior area control strategy. The Expeditionary Division is a good match for this purpose, with equipment focused abilities to help you close the gap for the blunderbuss one shot kill potential. With extra grenades for both lethal and tactical, and the ability to restock them. You also gain the ability to paint the enemies on the minimap if they are injured by your equipment. There are 4 attachments available and you will be equipping 3 of them. The first one is Steady Aim, which increases the hipfire accuracy, further condensing your pellets for a more reliable one-shot kill. Second attachment is the Advanced Rifling, increases the range drop-off, giving you a loose tolerance against the enemy who may be slightly further away from your lethal range. The last attachment is the incendiary shells, which adds an extra spice with a fire damage that will burn your position. These shells should be used only when you depleted all 10 normal rounds from the blunderbuss, and the extra incendiary shells will carry you straight over. You can use them right at the start, but anyone with the armored division will be a tough target to kill, and the fire shells are not always reliable for killing anyone in normal circumstances. For the secondary, a pistol is a godsend, especially when there are multiple enemies within your distance. Switching to the pistol is faster than reloading. The pistol can also help complement your long range capability, as your blunderbuss is only effective at close range. For the equipment, a sticky grenade is useful to clear out any opposition hiding behind covers or by objectives. An alternative here would be the S-mine, should you want to hold down your objective for a longer period of time. For the tactical, a stun grenade comes in handy should you find yourself on a losing side of a gunfight. A quick toss will slow down your opponent, then should buy you enough time to even out the odds. For the basic training, hustle is a must with a faster reload speed for both the blunderbuss and your pistol. With this perk, your shotgun will reload within 2.75 seconds and should be fast enough to secure a double kill just in time. One successful tip with the blunderbuss is to find an interior area to lock down by simply guarding entrances for anyone trying to bypass a show point for a superior positioning. You can certainly run around with it, but the requirement of the reload for every shot fire can pose a risk against multiple enemies. What you can do for a better survivability is to hug a cover such as walls for each time you need to reload, or simply walk away from a gunfight to avoid being killed by another enemy behind. Then, either wait for the enemy to walk in, or simply move yourself forward to foul their expectations. Be ready to switch to your pistol in cases of multiple enemies, or should your blunderbuss pellets didn't connect. For the best result, try to walk or stand as much as you could for a tighter spread. Use your equipment often as you can resupply them over and over again. Overall, the blunderbuss is perhaps the most reliable shotgun that can attain the one-shot kill ability, even if some pellets may miss thanks to its high damage of each pellet. Range is also good, extends beyond the combat shotgun. While the blunderbuss is king for powdering anyone at close range, it comes with many severe downsides, with only one shot per chamber and a long reload time. The spread is also big one on the move too. 
but with the steady aim attachment and the hustle basic training, the blunderbuss is faster and more bearable. And the expeditionary division will also help attain the odds of getting a kill should you find a tougher opposition ahead of you. The blunderbuss is the one shot kill wonder machine. And that's a wrap for the weapon tips of the blunderbuss. This is Asian with Jeep, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.